Burn Glenn, KPIX TV. Uh, nice to see you walk in. I'm just curious about the injury as to, from a timetable standpoint, where are you in your treatment, recovery, just how, and how that's been going? Um, rehab has been going great. Um, getting stronger and better every day. Um, I'm, pro I'm progressing weekly, uh, which is a positive. And, um, you know, as far as the timetable, you know, we'll sit down and discuss with the team and figure out what's the best, you know, return, return day. So, uh, to be determined. Thanks, Bruno. Let's go over to Logan. Uh, Logan Murdoch, Bay Area News Group. Um, kind of piggybacking on what Byron said. How do you balance wanting to come back uh, as fast as possible, but also, um, making sure you're as healthy as possible. How, how are you balancing that right now? Um, well, I'm going into the situation. I, I have to be smart about it. Um, I want to, I'm in a unique situation as well where I, I'm not needed right away. So uh, time is kind of on my side, so I have a chance to get to 100%. And, um, you know, when I, when I feel I'm at that point, we'll make the return. Third row over here. Yeah, Jason Applebaum, KTVU, Fox 2. You called this signing when you signed with the Warriors uh, your nuclear bomb, your ace of spades, so to speak. Can you expand on that? What do you mean by that? Um, I mean, it, it kind of speaks for itself. Uh, and it, it sounds like a bad thing, but just being the, the competitor that I am, I, that's why I considered it my nuclear bomb or last resort. So, um, I mean, Situation unfolded, and I am where I am. Mr. Medina? Hi, DeMarcus. Mark Medina, Bay Area News Group. Uh, have you had any conversations with players in the past that have had injuries with their Achilles? And what, do you, what perspective do you take from their journeys overall and coming back from them? Um, I've, I've spoken to a few guys. Uh, you know, former teammate Rudy Gay. Uh, I've talked with Wes Matthews. Um, I've, uh, I've spoken with uh, Dominique. Uh, Wilkins and uh, I, I spoke with Kobe as well. And uh, me and uh, me and Jonas have direct up and talking uh, as of recent. So uh, you know, it's just guys that've been through the situation, uh, made their return. Um, it, uh, I, I wasn't really looking for you know a specific answer to get through it. I, I really just wanted to see what each guy's mindset was and just kind of compared it to my own. And um, you know, some of the positives I took from it, and you know, some I just kind of put to the wayside. But um, it's it's a it's an injury that's that, that can be you know overcome, and um, I'll make sure that I prove that. I got it. C.J. Peterson, SF Bay. Demarcus, can you kind of uh, chronicle the process of you know not receiving any offers from what you said um, in this offseason? Uh, there were some legal reports that uh, New Orleans did make an offer. Uh, can you speak to that? Uh, I'm going to put it like this. Only me and Dale Dems know what was said on the phone that night. We both know the truth, and I'll leave it at that. Next up. Yeah, uh, just for Bob and for DeMarcus, I mean, by all accounts, a few players like you guys expect him to this season, he's going to be too expensive to even, you know, legally bring back under the CBA. Uh, does that one-year rental fact kind of make this a strange situation at all, or how do you kind of go into that? No. I, I mean, I know, I know everybody's job, more so now than ever, is to speculate. Our job is to win a championship in 2018-19. That's hard enough as it is, so thinking about beyond we didn't get these championships by thinking about the next one, the next one, the next one. They are very, very hard to do. So I don't even like the word rental or one year or this guy's a free agent or that guy's a free agent. Every day, he's on our team. Everybody else is on our team. We've got trying to sign one more guy, but that's it. We're trying to win a championship this year. Um, what happens after that, and you're well aware, and so is everybody listening, who knows? If I sat here, I sat over there, and people asked me what was going to happen in free agency. Nobody thought this was going to happen. Players sign, they leave, they come, they go, there's trades happening more frequently than ever, that has ever happened in our league. Our job, one job, is to win a championship. That's it. But the players that are on this team, um, that's why he came, that's why he's here, that's why we're all here. Everybody that works for our organization to win a championship this year. After that, we'll try again next year. But the focus for us is here, and he's on our team, and we're thrilled, just as we are with everybody else that's on our team.
You know, DeMarcus, uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you about today, I, I have some friends who still work up in Sacramento, and I talked to them a lot after we, the word came out that you were going to be a Golden State Warrior. I know you like to get out in the community and, and do a lot of things for the community. Why is that important to you, and are you excited about getting out in the Bay? Um, it's important to me because me being in that situation, and when I say I get out in the community, I get out in the hoods, like, just to be blunt, like, I go to the hood. I, I want to go to the worst, the, the grimiest place. That's where I want to be. And um, the reason behind that, those are usually the kids or, or the communities that can, kind of get left behind or, or forgotten about. And um, I feel like I was in that situation at one point. And I, and I can only imagine if I had some of the opportunities, you know, just being in these camps or, or being around pros or whatever the case may be, how much easier or how much of a better process it would have been for me as a kid. So uh, that's kind of where my mindset is, and, and, uh, and I, that's what I stand for. Next up, RC. RC Davis, Warriors Radio, Warriors Sound. Uh, how much is it going to set you back to take that zero from Pat McCall? Say that again? <laughs> how much is it going to set you back to take that zero from Pat McCall? Let's just say pass a tough negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Yes, down here. Uh, yeah, DeMarcus Ryan Gorse, your San Francisco Examiner. Going off that uh, the question about the community service, you held uh, a, a, a meeting, a community meeting about uh, policing back in your hometown of Mobile. What what brought that along, and did you have officers from the community there? And what was what was the content of that? Um, well, I mean, it's pretty aware of the you know the current events and the, the issues we have in our communities, but. Uh, I was just doing my part to, 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 to mend, mend or, or, or fix the issue, or try, at least try to uh, get everybody on the same page, gain understanding on both sides, see where both sides are coming from. And um, it's just a, it was just a chance to talk, to have dialogue. And um, I think it was successful. Uh, I look forward to doing more. But uh, I understand both sides. Uh, I had a, one of my AU coaches was a police officer. I, I respect him to this day, and uh, I think he's one of the best people to walk this planet. So uh, I understand both sides, but it's still a gray area that needs to be fixed. And what's what's his name? Senator so your AAU coach, what was his name? Uh, Ernest Waffle. And did you have police officers at that event along with community members? Say that again? Did you have police officers, officers at that event along with community members? Uh, yes. Let's go back over to Mark. Hey, DeMarcus, regarding just the rehab, can you take us through what it's like dealing with just the monotonous nature of it, just knowing how prolonged it is? Can you repeat that? Can you take us through what it's like dealing with the monotonous nature of a rehab, just given just how there's so much that goes into it for an extended period of time? It's the worst. It's, <laughs> honestly, just waking up every day doing the same exact thing. Like, it, it can drive you crazy. And, um, but I, I take it as a test, uh, just another obstacle to overcome, and I just use that as fuel to get to the next step, and then I continue the process. So, uh, it's tough, no lie, but uh, I know where I want to be. I know, I know what I'm capable of, and uh, I look forward to being back on the floor. Logan, um, you said in your uh, documentary teaser that you talked to uh, Duran and Steph and Clay and all those guys, and it kind of puts you at ease with your decision. What particularly did any one of them say that kind of puts you at ease to come here? Every guy said, let's go get another championship. That, that was the first thing. And what really put me at ease was just the excitement. You know, they're, they're a well-established team, and they could have easily been like, no, we don't need them, or whatever the case may be. But, I mean, they were excited like, Team that, that that's never accomplished anything. So uh, just just having that feeling alone uh, gave me a sense of you know just being able to relax about it and be calm about the situation. When you started the process and, and talked to Bob and, and you were thinking about coming here, what was the reaction of your friends and family when you told them that this was going to happen? Well, uh, I really didn't tell anybody until. You know, it kind of happened. Uh, it was it was me and my my manager and my agent, Jaron and Andrew. Uh, we kind of kept it close together. So uh, until we really figured out the situation, 
once I told them, they were all excited. It's funny, the one, the one guy he likes the most. <laughs> we were going through the whole process, so we said, should we, should we talk to Clay? And Steve said, he, he's fine, he doesn't care, he doesn't, he doesn't care. <laughs> you know, it's, and, and it's true, we were all kind of laughing, we probably should tell Clay about this. I but still haven't talked to him. Still talking. <laughs> he can hold the guy or well, He's been in China again. <laughs> Demarcus Connor, Laterno, San Francisco Chronicle. You're obviously one of the more competitive players in the league. Where does that competitive desire come from? Is it from anything to do with your background, your childhood? And do you have a little bit of an extra chip on your shoulder right now, given how free agency went? Uh, I think it's a combination of all of that. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the athletes down in Alabama. I, I feel we all play with a, a certain type of fire. I don't know, maybe it's the water. But um, to say I'm playing with an extra chip on my shoulder because of free agency, no. Uh, I feel I have something to prove anyway. Uh, I want to prove it to myself as well. But uh, I feel like I always play with a chip on my shoulder, not just necessarily from free agency. Money Pool. Money Pool, NBC Sports Bay Area. Marcus, one of the things that Steve Kerr always preaches to his team is that no matter what else you're doing out there, how hard you're doing it, don't forget to have some fun. When you hear something like that, what actually do you, what's the message to you when you hear that? Well, that's what it all goes back to. We all, we all started loving this game because we had fun with it. So uh, if you're not having fun doing, playing this game, something's wrong. So uh, I look forward to having fun this season. Marcus? Marcus Thompson with The Athletic. Demarcus, there's a perception out there that uh, you, Draymond, and Kevin Durant at some point are going to fight. <laughs> is this going to happen now because your team just won have it all out brawl? I know you guys are friends, but that's what people think because they see you on the court. Do you just get it in one time to get it out the way? Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve Kerr is getting ready for this. Go ahead. <laughs> Marcus, there's been a lot of talk you know, around the league, and you know the, it's ruining the league, you know, to build these super teams and whatnot. Um, do you feel like this is uh, going to be ruining the league by you adding you to this team? No, we still got to go out there and play like every other player does. Then, then wh why do you think that narrative is circulating? Say it again. Why do you think that narrative is circulating that building these quote-unquote super teams is ruining the league? I don't know, and I really don't care. Now we're going to get a, a question from a tough customer, one of our basketball campers today. State your name and fire away. Oh, I'm Majid Zahid, um, and coming off your injury, how can you help the Warriors this upcoming season, and what are your main goals? Uh, well, my main goal is to win a championship. That's, that's what I'm signing up for. And um, what I can bring, I'm, I'll bring a toughness, uh, I'll bring a skill set. They say they've never had before. Uh, rebounding, passing, uh, able to score. I'm, I'm bringing a little bit of everything and uh, a couple of takes as well. Next up. My name is Micah, and when you were growing up, um, who did you look up to in the NBA? And, like, what coach did you look up to? What coach? Yeah. Good question. Uh, were well, the players, all my favorite players, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Carmelo Anthony and um, Mark Stockmar. And, um, coach, uh, I didn't really watch basketball for the coaches I watch. <laughs> for <players. laughs> when you got to the NBA and and you're on the floor and you're playing against say a guy like Carmelo Anthony who you were a fan of, what was that like? And, and do you remember that kind of a moment? Yeah, I do. Uh, he didn't say anything to me, <laughs> so uh, that was that was my my moment with Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> I don't even think he acknowledged me. <laughs> Demarcus, you've had a reputation in the past of being a bad teammate, whether that's fair or not. Why won't that be an issue here? Why would you fit in here? Because that's not me. So. Another question? Go ahead. We need a mic. There we go. Thank you. Welcome back to Northern California. Thank you. 
Felice here for sale for Sports in the Bay and the Martinez News Gazette. From what you can tell so far, coming to the Warriors, leaving Alvin Gentry's system, have you seen much of a difference? And part two, I'm looking at this picture. I didn't know you had so many tattoos. Have you got a new one, or are you going to get a new one to commemorate you becoming a warrior? You mean like a tattoo of the Well, not the bridge, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> no, 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 not that, but just, you know, a new beginning. Uh, well, I haven't gotten a new tattoo in about two years, but, uh, I mean, it would be kind of cool to have a trophy to it, so we'll see what happens. You can start with clay and then go to the trophy. <laughs> For sure. Oh, Marty, Marty DeMarcus, you, you were having a career year basically when you went down with the injury and I know, I'm wondering, when you go down with that injury, you know the playoffs are coming ahead, it looked like you're gonna, you guys are going to make it, and obviously the team did. How long did it take for you to get past the fact that finally you get to the playoffs and you can't play? Uh, it sucks, um, especially being the competitor that I am. Uh, you know, that's all I ever played for, and um, you know the opportunity and the, the chance slipped away from me. Things happen, but uh, you know I'm using this. I'm using this lesson as a way to grow as a player, as a person, and uh, you know the opportunity presents itself again, and I'll be more than prepared. Mark. And Demarcus, just given the, the nature of how serious an Achilles injury, but knowing how talented a player you are, what are your expectations for what you will be able to do next season with your game? Uh, my expectations, I, I plan on coming back being the same dominant player that I was. Uh, even better, actually. Uh, nothing will change. Well, that's going to conclude our Q&A. In this part of the session, we're going to have a photo op in, in just a moment. And then uh, Bob and DeMarcus will break up for individual sessions. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Thank you to all the Warrior staffers. And a special thank you for great behavior and staying quiet to our Warriors basketball campers. Job well done, guys. And uh, again, DeMarcus, welcome to the band.